Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, as everybody's aware, we're here uh, due to an application concerning 405 area code exhaust and related relief. And uh, this uh, technical advisory group meeting is uh, to discuss any issues and um, concern or concerns with regard and take some public comment with regard to um, this application. Uh, we've got uh, Jenny uh, Dillon out of my office in con conjunction with uh, some folks from Nampa are going to provide a presentation that will be kind of uh, some background on the 405 area code and, and how we kind of got to where we are uh, and what we're looking at. So with that, I'll just turn it over to Jenny. All right. Thank you, Mark. Um, good afternoon again, and welcome to the 405 Area Code Exhaust uh, Relief Technical Advisory Group Meeting. I'm Jenny Dillon, Regulatory Analyst for the Public Utility Division of the Oklahoma Corporation Commission. For those who are in attendance in person, please make sure to sign in on either of the sign-in sheets at the podium. If there's anyone um, that wishes to make public comment, we also have a public comment sign-in sheet at the podium closest to the door. Um, if you don't get that public comment scene shine, sheet signed but decide you want to say something later, that's fine. But we're just doing that so we know if there's anyone we need to call on. And I believe we have a couple folks that are calling in on the phone. Um, and at this time, I'd ask you uh, to state your name so we can have that for the record as well. Hi, Good this afternoon. is Rosemary Vice with T-Mobile. Thank you, Rosemary. Jason Constable with AT&T. Thanks, Jason. Paul Majedlo with TDS. Thank you, Paul. Rita Schmidt. Anna Crandall, Verizon. Okay, I heard a Lisa. Lisa, would you? Oh, it's Rita. I apologize. Okay, we've got you, Rita. Thank you. And there Anna was somebody Crandall, else. Verizon. Okay, thank you. Uh, this is Mike Hunsucker with Windstream. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Do we have anyone else on the phone that I didn't catch? Okay, Tonda great. Brown from Verizon. Oh, okay. All right, we are going to put everyone on the phone on mute for now, um, and then when we get to the portion of the presentation where we um, take questions and comment, we will make sure you guys are unmuted at that time. All participants are now muted.
Jenny, can you hear me? Walitka in the east. This 405 area code has a mix of residential, industrial, urban, and rural areas. There are approximately 190 cities and town within the area code. Tinker Air Force Base, one of the largest military installations in the United States, is located within the 405 area code. Additionally, the main campuses of the University of Oklahoma and Oklahoma State University are located within the area code. Historically, telephone numbers were assigned to service providers in blocks of 10,000 numbers. In 2002, thousand block number pooling was implemented in the 405 area code. Thousands block number pooling allows phone numbers to be allocated to service providers in blocks of 1,000 instead of the historical 10,000 blocks. And this conserves numbers and provides for more efficient number utilization. Prior to the implementation of thousands block pooling, the 405 area code was forecasted to exhaust in the first quarter of 2004. In fact, a previous application to introduce a new area code in the 405 geographical area was ultimately dismissed uh, due to the benefits of thousands block number pooling. Um, thus far, pooling has saved 391 NXXs, adding 17 years to the life of the 405 area code. The OCC reviews the industry's utilization data on telephone number usage semi-annually. Although the implementation of thousands block number pooling helped to extend the life of the 405 area code, the 405 prefixes are currently forecasted to exhaust by December of 2021. Therefore, additional prefixes are needed in the 405 geographical area, which will require introduction of a new area code. As mentioned before, Heidi Wayman, hey, Wayman. who is the area code with leaf planner with NAMPA, is with us via video. She will be presenting information regarding NAMPA, the area code relief process, and relief methods. Heidi? Thanks, Jenny. My name is Heidi Wayman, and I work with the NAMPA group. And NAMPA administers the North American Numbering Plan, which is the area code system shared by the United States, Canada, Bermuda, and 17 Caribbean countries. NAMPA's primary responsibilities are to ensure numbering resources for the telecommunications industry. Resources are assigned in the form of area codes and prefixes, and their use is tracked to ensure effective and efficient utilization. NAMPA also forecasts which area codes will soon run out of numbers, which is called exhaust, and they initiate and coordinate the planning process known as area code relief planning to introduce a new area code. Relief planning generally starts 36 months before the forecasted exhaust. There are 792 usable prefixes in an area code, and each prefix contains 10,000 numbers. When projecting that an area code will run out of prefixes, the numbering plan administrator looks at a number of factors, 
The most important factors are the history of prefix code assignments, the current growth rate within the in within the industry, and the annual prefix code growth, which is forecast for a period of five years. And each telecommunication service provider in the 405 area code submits a semi-annual growth forecast to help us predict future demand. If thousands block number pooling is in place, this forecast is by thousand blocks by those service providers capable of number pooling. All of this information is used to project when an area code will run out of prefixes with numbers or exhaust. This information is used is also used in calculating the life expectancy of the relief methods which we will be presenting today. The planning process begins with the telecommunications industry team meeting to identify viable solutions. The industry team is required to follow regulations established by the FCC, the Oklahoma Corporation Commission, as well as telecommunications industry guidelines. In planning area code relief, the industry is required to follow rate center boundaries. The slide you are currently viewing shows the rate centers in the 405 area code. Rate centers are geographic divisions established to determine when a call is local and when a call is long distance. While many rate centers have the same names as nearby cities, rate center boundaries do not necessarily coincide with the city or county boundaries. Rate center boundaries are determined by which telephone company switch provides dial tone to a specific address. The industry is also unable to consider certain types of relief such as service provider specific area codes for cell phones, pagers, or other services because of current federal regulations. The industry takes into account communities of interest, cities and county boundaries, and natural dividing lines, such as mountains or rivers when they are present. These factors are then measured against established industry criteria, such as minimizing customer confusion, ensuring that relief plans have adequate projected lives, and maintaining competitive neutrality among service providers. After feasible alternatives are developed, the industry strives to reach consensus on the best plan for an area as a whole. NAMPA, as the neutral third party, takes no position on any relief method or spe specific relief alternative. While the industry reaches consensus on a relief method when an area code is running out of numbers, the Oklahoma Corporation Commission makes the final decision on area code relief. Once the final decision is made by the commission, a press release is issued with details of the plan. Telephone companies notify their customers of the plan details. The introduction of a new area code will have no effect on the rate you pay for a call. What is local, what it was a local call remains a local call no matter how many digits you have to dial. This is true no matter what method is used to ensure adequate telephone numbers are available in a specific locality. In the 405 area code, there are currently 47 service providers, which can be local phone companies, mobile phone companies, VOIP providers, or paging companies. The 405 is divided into 93 rate centers covering 19 counties. Currently, there are 33 usable prefixes remaining available for assignment in the 405 area code. Each prefix is uniquely assigned to a rate center from the available prefix inventory. Once assigned, the numbers from that prefix are not available for assignment to end users in another rate center. Based on the current demand, the 405 area code is projected to exhaust its supply of available prefixes in the fourth quarter or by December of 2021. The exhaust date is subject to change, however, based on demand in the 405 area code. A new area code is now needed to replenish the supply of prefixes. Generally, a new area code is introduced by one of two methods, a geographic split or an overlay, and there are also some other less frequently used methods available. However, a split has not been implemented in the United States in the last 12 years. The geographic split method provided area code relief where an existing area code is divided, one side retains the old area code, and the other side changes to a new area code. Customers on both sides of the split line retain their existing seven-digit phone number, and local calls continue to be made by dialing seven digits. Area code split boundaries must follow rate area boundaries. They do not follow municipal or county boundaries except by chance. This is to preserve the existing rate structure, which determines how much you pay to make a call. 
Another form of area code relief is an area code overlay. With an overlay, the existing geographic area served by the area code is kept intact, and a new area code would be added to the same geographic area. New customers or customers adding additional lines could be assigned numbers with the new overlay area code. When an overlay is implemented, the FCC requires that 10 digits are to be used to dial all calls within the area code and the seven digit number even for local calls. 10 digits are used for calls to the same area code and for calls to the new area code. Another form of overlay is what's called a boundary elimination overlay. In a boundary elimination overlay, the boundary between two or more, more area codes is eliminated and codes can be assigned from the adjacent area code in the original area code. On January 4, 2010, the Oklahoma Corporation Commission approved an overlay as the relief method for the 918 area code. The new area code introduced was 539 and was put into service in April 2011. There hasn't been an area code split in the nation in the last 12 years, and the last split in Oklahoma was 22 years ago. The overlay has become the preferred form of area code relief nationwide. Now I'd like to go through the relief message relief methods that were viable options for the 405 area code. The slide you're looking at now um, is alternative number one, which was an all services distributed overlay. In this method, a new overlay area code would be added to serve the same geographic area as the current 405 area code. All customers, current customers, would retain their existing area code and telephone number. After the overlay area code is introduced, new customers or new lines may be assigned from either the 405 or the new overlay area code. In the projected life of this alternative, the all services overlay is 43 years. The next slide shows a map of alternative two, a boundary elimination overlay. The boundary between the 405 and the 918-539 area codes would be eliminated and codes from 405, 918, and 539 could be assigned in any of the three area codes. The projected life of alternative two is 27 years. Oklahoma and the Oklahoma 405 NPA has a wide area calling plan and that includes 47 rate centers. The Oklahoma City Rate Center has 45% of all the code assignments in the 405 NPA. But due to these circumstances, it was not recommended to split the 405 NPA. The telecommunications industry is proposing an all services distributed overlay over the 405 area code, also described earlier as alternative number one. One significant reason this was proposed by the industry is due to the greater projected life of the all services distributed overlay as opposed to the boundary elimination overlay, um, which was also described earlier as alternative number two. Additionally, industry has voiced concerns about customer confusion and educational difficulties associated with implementing alternative number two. Now we'll go over the impacts. If any of the overlay options are approved by the commission, you as a customer will keep your existing area code and telephone number. Additionally, you will use 10 digits, which is the area code and the phone number, to dial next door or from Oklahoma City to El Reno. The number of digits dialed will not affect how calls are billed. What is a local call now will remain a local call and is included in your monthly service charge if you subscribe to a flat rate service. The 10 digit dialing requirement eliminates a dialing disparity between customers in the two different area codes. The FCC has mandated that the introduction of an overlay will require 10 digit dialing throughout the overlay area. Once the mandatory dialing begins, seven digit dialing within the overlay area will be eliminated. Calls to 911, as well as 211, 311, 411, and other such numbers will not be affected. Those calls will still be dialed using three digits as they are dialed today. Those existing customers in the 405 area code may need to change stationary, advertising, signage on trucks, billboards, etc., to show the correct area code only if the seven digit number is shown. 
This includes business cards, invoices, letterheads, advertisements, numbers on checks, pet tag, and pet tags. Businesses with PBXs would need to change would need changes made in their systems to reflect the dialing change and the introduction of the new area code. Burglar and fire alarm and security or entry systems might need to be updated for 10 digit dialing. Consumers may need to reprogram their automatic dialing equipment and other types of equipment that are programmed with only a seven digit number to ensure the use of the 10 digit dialing procedure. Friends, relatives, business associates would need to be also notified of this change. When introducing a new overlay area code, there's an adjustment period. And we call it permissive, the permissive dialing period. During the permissive dialing period, customers may dial numbers from the 405 area code to other 405 numbers on a seven digit or a 10 digit basis. Customers will be encouraged to make calls using the new dialing procedure during the permissive period. However, if they forget to use the procedure or their equipment hasn't been changed yet, their calls will still be completed. The permissive period usually lasts several months, and at the end of the permissive period, all calls must be made using the correct area code. If customers dial a seven-digit number by mistake, the customer will receive will reach a recorded announcement stating the number must be dialed using the area code plus the seven-digit number. They must hang up and redial the number using the correct area code. This recording will always be available. I'd like to turn the presentation back over to Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Heidi. As Heidi stated, the Oklahoma telecommunications industry has proposed an all services distributed overlay as the preferred form of relief for the 405 area code, which will be considered by the commission. A hearing on the merits before an administrative law judge will be held in courtroom B of the Jim Thorpe building on November 20th, 2019 at 1.30 p.m. The OCC will host a virtual town hall meeting via Facebook Live for the general public. During this meeting, we will review the exhaust relief process for the 405 area code, and we will provide an opportunity for public comment. The time and date of the virtual town hall meeting is still to be determined. If you would like to be notified directly of when the virtual town hall meeting will be held, please send an email request to telecom at OCC Dot ok dot gov or write your email address next to your name on the sign-in sheets. At this time, we are ready to take questions or input from industry regarding any technical issues. If there are any questions or input from industry, please step up to the microphone. Make sure the microphone is turned on, please. State your name and the name of the company or companies that you represent. Are there any questions from industry? Okay, oh, hearing none. Are now unmuted. Was there anyone on the phone that had anything to say? Okay, great. Um, now we will open up the floor to a general question and answer session for industry or the public. Um, are there any questions for, for from industry or the public here in the room? Okay, um, anyone on the phone want to ask any questions or, or make a statement? All right, you guys are real talkative today. <laughs> Finally, if you have signed up to make public comment, please make your way to the microphone. Um, is anyone in the room wanting to make public comment this afternoon? Great, anyone on the phone? wanting to make public comment. Wonderful. Um, if you guys change your mind, you can uh, file public comment in the case, which again is cause number PUD 2018-00086. Alternatively, public comment may be provided via email to telecom at occ.ok.gov. In the subject line, if you can include the words 405 area code relief, that will help us out a lot. 
If you'd like to speak to PUD's attorney in this cause, please contact Lauren Willingham, Assistant General Counsel at the Oklahoma Corporation Commission. Um, I've put her full address in the presentation slide, so I won't read it out here right now, uh, but her phone number is 405-522-8954. Okay, that concludes the items that PUD and NAMBA have prepared for this meeting. Um, are there any other comments or questions at this time? Okay, I don't hear anything, so um, that will conclude today's meeting. Uh, thank you all for taking the time to attend, and I'd like to extend a special thank you to Heidi and Linda uh, for taking the time this afternoon uh, to be available for us. All right, have a great day, everybody. All participants are now muted.